how much does a fat wee? I'd say about two cents worth. Hmm, I think you might be right about that. I guess that makes the subatomic particle about three cents. Inspired by a cosmic blunderbuss with a gravitational gun barrel. This so-called fermion was traced back to a distant galaxy off the shoulder of Orion. Uh, of course, you're talking about neutrinos. Exactly. They have no electrical charge and so little mass they can't accurately be measured. They interact with other matter only by gravity and so-called weak nuclear force. Thus flow through us like ghosts. Ghost particles? From the beyond. That makes you think. Like staying into the guts of the most energetic objects in the universe. Even particles from the Big Bang may be passing through me and you. I'm told this proves that quasars are creating cosmic rays. It seems about right to me. But the origin of neutrinos is still up for debate. Which, as we all know, is highly contested among astrophysicists. And you don't say? Oh, I do say. Actually, these neutrinos came from a quasar known as a blazar. And if I'm not mistaken, your blazar came from Lord and Taylor. I have a keen eye, boss. Neutrinos are tracked by a lab at the South Pole called Ice Cube. It's very rare that they detect any activity. But it was a good day last year when a neutrino passed through at the speed of light. Last time that happened was 1987. Hope they have some good books. And big ones, too. Like Dostoevsky and James Joyce. Maybe we should send them some Blu-rays.